Map Guide of the Earth A globe is a model of the earth with its surface. It helps us to locate places on the earth. But it has some disadvantages. A globe cannot show the whole world at a time. It is difficult to carry it because of its shape. It cannot show countries and cities of the world in great detail. To overcome these advantages, we use maps. Maps A map is a representation of the earth's surface or part of it on a flat surface. It can be drawn on a paper, on a wall or on a boat. Maps can show countries and cities of the world in great detail. Physical maps show physical features of continents, plateaus, plains, rivers, lakes, oceans, etc. Political map shows the boundaries of different countries, states, capitals, major cities, etc. Advantages of Maps Maps are very useful tools to study the earth. We can see the whole world at a time on a map. Maps can show various places of the world in great detail. Maps can even show a very small area like a city with a lot of information. You can draw your school map providing with its details. One can easily fold or roll a map and carry it. Basic Features of Maps To read a map, we must know about its basic features. These are given as follows. Focus A book of maps is called an atlas. You can find a lot of information about various countries, states, cities, etc. in an atlas. Directions on a map There are four main directions. They are north, south, east and west. It is most essential to know all the directions on a map. Look at the map of India. The top of the map is the north. Opposite the north is the south. It corresponds to the bottom of the map. The east is to your right. It corresponds to the right edge of the map. To your left is the west. It corresponds to the left edge of the map. These directions are also called cardinal directions, subdirections. Apart from the main directions, there are also four subdirections. Between the north and east lies the northeast. Similarly, the northwest lies between north and west. The southeast lies between south and east. Between south and west lies the southwest. The subdirections are also called intermediate directions. Distance on a map. Can we show the actual size of the earth on a map? It is not possible. It is not possible even to show the actual distance between two places on a map. Thus, maps are drawn according to a scale which represents actual distances on the map. For example, the actual distance between two places is 100 kilometers. So, on the map, 100 kilometers may be represented by 1 centimeter or by any small scale. See the scale shown here. The distance between A and B represents 100 kilometers. You can find the scale of a map usually at the bottom or a corner of the map. Colors on a map. Different colors are used to show various features and water bodies on a map. Water bodies on a map are shown in blue, plains in green, highlands in yellow or brown and mountains in dark brown. Ice covered mountains are colored purple and white. Signs and symbols on a map. Various signs and symbols on a map stand for various things. For example, the boundary of a country is shown by a line made up of dots and dashes. Similarly, a district is shown by a line made up of dashes. One must know about these signs 
to read the map correctly. Special symbols are also used to show distribution of crops, minerals, industries, dams, etc. Some of the important symbols are shown here. Focus. A book of maps is called an atlas. You can find a lot of information about various countries, states, cities, etc. in an atlas.